Hey guys, what's going on? It's Sam with MobileTechVideos.com. You can probably tell by the title of the video and uh, this here that the topic today on Android 101 is all about rooting. So like I said, we're going to talk a little bit about rooting. I've had a lot of questions over the years about rooting, what it is, uh, what are the benefits, what can I do after I root my device, and we're going to hit on all of those. So to begin with, rooting is basically a process that you do to your uh, phone or your tablet to gain complete administrative rights to that device. Whenever you buy your phone or your tablet and you receive it, you don't have complete access to that phone. In other words, you can't access certain areas of your device, system files, things like that. So rooting is what you do to gain full access to your device. And there's several different ways to do it. In fact, some devices probably have several different methods for that one device. Now, why would you want to root your device? Well, as I said, it's to gain complete, full control over your device and there's several different things you can do with that. Um, number one would be different apps that require root. Now I just real quickly threw this together. Uh, a few of these you might recognize. The Super User app is one of the main uh, root accessing apps that you'll use. And some of the other apps you might use. Uh, very popular Titanium Backup. You'll use this to back up all of your system files, your apps, everything on your device. Then you also have set CPU. You can use that to overclock a kernel, improve the speed of your device. You can also do Wi-Fi tethering if you're rooted. Once you're rooted, you're able to change the font on system font on your device much more than you could by not being rooted. You can also change the system sounds on your device. Uh, I just recently did a video showing how to do that. So there's a ton of, and this is only a very small handful, there's a ton of things you can do. Different apps you can run that require root access. Now these are some of the great things you can do with root access. We'll talk about one more here in a second, but maybe we should talk about the downside of rooting your device. These are the pros, what are the cons? Well the number one thing is you run the risk of damaging your phone or your tablet. Perhaps you try to root it but you accidentally use a root method that's designed for a different phone or a different tablet. You run the risk of bricking your device. But that's the number one issue with uh, rooting your device. Probably the second one is you void your warranty. If you just bought a phone or a tablet and you root it, then for the most part your warranty is done. If you send it back to be repaired, uh, it's going to be denied and they won't do it. There are, once again, other ways to get around that. Uh, there's programs you can use to hide the fact that your phone was once rooted. And we'll save that for another video. But, in my opinion, the number one reason to root your device, putting on custom ROMs. If you're new to all this and you maybe don't know what a ROM is, a ROM is basically everything that is on your device, all of the software your interface, your lock screen, your uh, dialer, the clock, um, everything, everything that's in there, the Android operating system. So once you're rooted and you have a custom recovery on your device, you can change out the ROM. One of the benefits of that is that when you purchase a new device from AT&T or T-Mobile, Sprint, Verizon, one of those carriers, it comes with a lot of crap on your phone, to be frank. Uh, a lot of bloatware. You've got AT&T Navigator. There's the Musix, Verizon, this and that. And these things you're never going to use. A lot of times you have free trials to certain uh, programs, certain apps. 30-day trial to this game or things like that. And yeah, it's fun for 30 days, but after that, you're never going to buy it. So all of these things on your device are just taking up space and slowing down your phone or your tablet. Best thing to do is to get rid of them. Now, that's where custom ROMs come into play. Developers have taken these ROMs, taken them off the device, 
customized them, tweaked them, thrown in hacks and mods, gotten rid of the bloatware, made them much faster, much more stable, improved the battery life. Oftentimes they have tweaked the theming, changed the way the icons look or the toggles in your drop down notification drawer. I mean, there's tons of things. Then you can take those ROMs and put them on your device and have a custom look and feel that's much more speedy, faster, everything works great, battery life is awesome, it's gotten rid of all that bloatware, and it's just a wonderful thing to have on your device. So, in my opinion, that is the number one reason to root your device is so you can put on custom ROMs. So to recap, guys, rooting is gaining full control of your device there's good reasons and bad reasons to root your device. I personally recommend it. The very first thing I do when I get a new device, like my Note 2, uh, the S4, this is the Nexus 4, what do we got here, uh, S2, um, Nexus 7. very first thing I do is I root the sucker. Then the very second thing I do is I throw on a custom ROM. So, hopefully that answers some questions, helps some people out. Uh, as always, this is Sam with MobileTechVideos.com. You can check us out on Facebook and Twitter. Let me know if you need any help with anything, and I'll see you next time.